Hello guys, today I will show you the basics of Autodesk Sketchbook. Under the menu button you can start a new project. Here you can adjust the size of the image. But the bigger the image, the less layers you can use. Autodesk Sketchbook Mobile gives you access to the corner shortcuts. You can activate them with a double tap. Below left you find Undo, bottom right Redo. And on the right upper side you can frame the canvas. On the upper left side you can clear the layer. Under the settings and the menu you can set these corner shortcuts for yourself. Now we come to the colors. You can change them here. In the color wheel you can choose the main color. And in the square you can adjust the saturation and the brightness. Below you can also set this separately. In this menu you will also find the pipette. On opposite you can find the transparent color that you can use to delete. Now we come to the brushes, which you can find here. There are a lot of different brushes. I mainly use these brushes. Under the settings you can change the size and opacity. You can make even more changes in the advanced settings. Here you can customize your brush individually. The button down here is the quick access button. Here you can make changes quickly. How to change the size of the brush for example. Hold the symbol of the brush and move it left or right. So you can change the size of the brush. And up or down the opacity. If you do that with the color symbol, you can change the brightness or saturation. Down here are even more quick actions, like transparent color, the color picker, last color, last brush and to flip the canvas. Now let's have a look at the tools. We start with the draw styles. Here you can create lines, circles or rectangles quickly and easily. With the fill tool you can fill objects or dense lines with color. 
You can also create a gradient. Under the Guides tool, you will find different rulers that you can individually rotate or move. With the Protective Stroke tool, you can make lines softer, or you can use it to draw simple shapes perfectly. And of course, you can change the level. You can use the Perspective Guide tool to adjust different perspectives individually. Perfect for buildings or other objects. With the Timelapse tool, you can record your own projects. I often use it myself. With the Symmetry tool, you can mirror your drawings. Perfect for landscapes or other art projects. And finally we come to the layers. Here you can open the layer bar. It is important to use multiple layers for your project. You can make your life a lot easier with layers in Autodesk Sketchbook. If you want to learn more about Autodesk Sketchbook, check out my other tutorials. I hope I could help you and have fun trying it out for yourself.